some of you guys are looking at this alpha beta thing incorrectly. The younger cats out there, the more socially awkward cats, that is, you're seeing it as, I want to be the most dominant male. Let me look at all this crazy body language. Let me make sure I make everyone else feel weird so that their body language starts to crumble. Body language analysis. Where's my head? Where's the direction? How are my shoulders pointed? Are they two together? I look defensive. Or is it too much? Looking way too cocky. I really don't know how to perfect the posture done it a couple of times tried what I liked, what I didn't like kept what I liked, discarded what I didn't like really it's important to act more alpha to an extent because alpha in this context means more white, more Aryan, more Western, more noble. And if you have it inside you, which you probably do to some extent, then it becomes necessary to bring that out. Keeping it inside is of negative consequence. It's how you go from Mel Gibson to Justin Bieber. It's that simple. People look at it the wrong way. Uh, how am I going to get girls? Alright, my chin has to be pointed up this way. Shoulders this way. My hands need to be. Well, they can't be crossed. Um, how are my legs gonna be pointed? <clears throat> Come on, guys. Are your favorite characters and protagonists guys with perfect posture? Posture that their moms would glorify them for? Are their voices perfect to the point where they can offend just about anybody? I notice that when I speak in a tone that isn't in this snarky, nasally tone you guys hear, people do get offended when I walk 100% with a level of virility. People do look at me with, like they're offended, and it's usually when I'm in deep thought, when I'm thinking about something that I kind of make these body language messages, and <laughs> it's really amusing seeing people just glare at me like they're gonna do some shit. Let a guy <laughs> stand however he wants. Come on, guys. Your instincts are stupid, and your disgraces for following your instincts. You're undermensch for doing it. As much as I can't blame you for being below average, I can certainly condemn you anyway, just for fun, and because you kind of deserve it. If deserve even applies anymore to anything. Then yeah. But I'm sick and tired of seeing these anti-heroes that feign masculinity by fighting fascism when in reality they're fedora weaklings with an Oedipus complex and that few with no girlfriend. I'm sick and tired of these Facebook thugs who write statuses saying that they want a Jay-Z and Beyonce, Bonnie and Clyde type relationship. No. You need a bullet in your head. That's what you need. 
unless you can showcase virility and style. Not necessarily style, what the fuck am I talking about? Once you start going in that direction, then it kind of gets a little fedora-ish. But... <laughs> point is you chicks need to stop encouraging this stop liking statuses from guys that are saying beta stuff if a guy sounds way too soft if he's saying stuff that might make people have the wrong idea discourage it downplay it make him look like the dick that he is I'm sick and tired of men that are bad influences on other men if you want to convince another person to take off his testicles, then at least do so physically and not spiritually, because it's poisonous. The way things are getting right now, it really is. You're taking all the white away from people's souls. Removing it, leaving behind something dewy, something less than Asiatic. Less than white. Less than... Less than civilized. And... Culture more subculture in a way. I don't like that. It's not about peacocking, it's not about which way your ankles are pointed. It's about acting white and civilize and becoming a cultured thug who cares about the pussy part that's another story it's not my story for today it's just my story for another day this is Mr. Wonka 7 Respect the king.